What's going on everybody? So I'm on the seaside, I'm bring the camera the phone we are record for because I said I have something special here and I just happened to be driving by and was able to catch what's going on. Today they're serving up Congre eel and long jaw. I mean I haven't seen these size long jaws in a while, in a long long time. I haven't seen the size of them. I don't even know where they found them, where they caught them, but they came in fresh and there is congre eel that is buried. So we're going to see how they prepare the congre eel, why they bury it and see something totally different than before. I hope everything comes out well and the quality is fine as I said. It's the first time I have to be recording on my phone because it's just a little pop-up pop-in and see what I go on down a seaside today. Big up everybody. Oh, what is Long jaw. Long jaw. This a long time. I'm not seen a long jaw, big son. Long jaw. Are you find them big long jaw, man? I fish man, man. I go go. Long jaw. She says that man. Where is it? Let me put them by the scale. Yeah, but where is it? Let me put them by the scale. I'm gonna try that tonight. We have to try that. Want at least one of them. Want at least one of them. What is it? What you here? Long jaw, they may clean up. Long jaw, I have enough skill for it. The man, you have to a fine skill. Fine skill, yeah. yeah. I will do it properly, you know. So, what is similarity to long jaw, like barra? Or well, more like kingfish? Well, they, they're similar, you know. Mm. But, call this boat right now, you know, so the long jaw is more long. I said color, they have enough. You know? Yeah, said color, but they look, them look. Said color, but different looks. Then, them look different. Just like when me black and your brown, and. You know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah. Them look like, them look like. Yeah. It look like almost kingfish for me. Yeah, man. Even, or wow. Even mackerel, all this. Mackerel, wow, kingfish, yeah. all of them related. Bad man. <coughs> Outside, up. Where are these? See my smart friend there. How is it? My yeah. bright friend there. I, I cat bar. Huh? Cat bar, say, well, I would dance. Yeah. Holy. Mommy, you have to let him be tongue on the boat. You have tongue bars on them blood. They don't sit there to hold you, too. Wow. You want to have to be special? So this is a conga eel or congre eel. This is what you look for when we say we're roasting congre or we're frying congre. This is how the eel looks. And what they've said is that they've buried one and they're going to dig him up and fry it up, dice him up and then fry it later. So they're going to dig it up, slice it and then fry it. I mean, you look at it, it doesn't look like something that is awfully yummy, but I can tell you the meat is exceptional and it has just very good soft meat with small bones in it. We find out why them bury it and why them put it under the sun. Burn him. Burn him. You bury him? Yeah. So why you bury him? To get all this thing greener. So the slime, slime, that slime right there. It's a part of the poison. So it's it poisonous? Yeah, it's a part of it. What part of it poisonous? Yeah. We took a whole green, but green part. Whenever I've known said poisonous before. Yeah, man, green part. So me your people say, because I never eat it. Shut away, I'm clean off you. So you dig a hole? Yeah, and bury him. And bury him. How long you bury him for? So maybe about 20, 25 minutes. 25 minutes. And that will take off all of that green part, all of that slime when you start out. Just a shallow grave. I'm just digging up some of the sand right on the seaside. Right on the seaside. So when you when you bury him now? Clean him up man and gut him on. Eh? Gut him and cut him up. Gut him and cut him up and pot ready for pot, ready for fire, whatever yeah. you want to do with him after yeah. that. Anything you want to do with him. Roast fry. Are this are this man in catch? Yeah man. So you say just a dig up and bury him straight just like that. You want to out, you know? I'm 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 finished with this. Funeral, yeah? Well, if this ain't funeral, yeah. time for having nine night. <laughs> when you eat him, I nine night. When we eat him, I nine night. So in nine night, come after a funeral. <laughs> I rip us. So you really just bury him in yeah, dig that small hole and then just bury him you know? so that it sweats out, is what he says. Apparently, I'd have to read up and give you more information. I really don't have that information. The first I hear about the poison of the conger eel, or conger eel as we call it here. Birds are flying and they just buried him right there and we let him sit for 25 minutes. And then after 25 minutes, I'm cleaning him up. And it's ready for the pot. 
parking on your side, burial site, you know. Yeah. Concrete burial right here, 25 yeah. minutes. Huh? Them said I'm burying for 25 minutes. Why them buried the concrete? Huh? Why them buried the concrete? To detox it. Detox. That's why I'm saying, but I don't know which toxin they are no, in concrete. No, man. I'm saying green part poison. time. The green part, so it's easy to um to scale off. To scale and, off. So, and, and yeah, because they have very fine scale and as well. All of the um the toxins that are on the outside of the skin, you, you scrape that off, come so off easy. There's toxins on the outside. I forgot to read up about that because we never heard that before. Yeah, Some of them are not very bara. There's a green, I'm green a, layer. That thing when I tell you. Right, you know about man, it has seaside now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just go roast that up for a little bit now and then try it after. No seasoning, no nut, no salt, no pepper, no nothing. Just salt water and straight to the grill. Type of bun finger, but you know it's it. Fish just gone on the grill, long jaw, and it's no seasoning, no additives, no salt, no pepper, no nothing, just natural salt water straight from the salt, straight from the sea. It was caught this morning and straight to the grill. You see them clean it up after them clean it up now. We just wash it off with some salt water and then straight on to the grill. So I'm curious to see how that long jaw tastes and how, how it's going, what type of meat it has if it's going to be just almost like a barra that dry flaky meat or something like a wahoo exactly is what we're looking for the consistency of the meat i mean as i said we're going to get a full taste of it because there's no seasoning so we're just going to taste the raw fish and how it not the raw fish it's going to be cooked but we're going to taste the fish and see exactly how long jaw is and then after that we'll dig up the conger eel or the conga eel if you want the proper notes and then we see exactly what we're going with that but stay tuned, it's the first I've seen Congre eel buried and it's the first I think I'm going to try long jaw on the channel as well so big up everybody, stay tuned What the fire baby? Real hot Fire hot <laughs> Fire under there After you dig him up, you just scrape off right there You clean off already Clean off, so that's it, that's it This is a different one, I know I see him Congre this So we went to see the other one being dug up But this one was beat buried as well It's the one that's clean off So The green is too off right there That's the greenness that you take off of it So the greenness is actually just, it's not the colour of it It's just like a slime that's on it Yeah That's how it's clear, you know? Yeah Oh. But they said the green is can poison. Yeah. So basically just dig it up. Use the sand. The basically. Sand yeah, the sand is almost used like like almost sandpaper pretty much. Yeah. So basically scrape him and take the green part of the eel off. And once the green part is off, you're left with that greyish look. Like it has. You can see the green still on the head that he made slice off right now. The underbelly right there and it's pretty much grey after that the other side has the sand and the sand basically acts as almost a type of sandpaper to take off the green so after I'm inside it now I'm just bringing it back into the water and clean it off some more and as I said this one is huge this is not the one that we buried before but this is one that was buried you can lift up here So it used to be green and they buried it. It used to be green? And they buried it to take this, the color off. Hey, it's blood is dripping on me. Oh my god, I hope that was it. I'm gonna see this tall. How much? How much you weigh? So you're just gonna roast it and like this? 
Oh, I've had it fried. I've never oh, had it roasted. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, so you know, give me a hug and take it. Of course, it's sweet. All I have to do is just wait. I've had it fried, not roasted. So. All right, let me go back to my Why don't you see hold the face here, the head. Somebody take a picture of you holding it. I, I actually and want. Then, I want to yeah. Me? No nah, man, him good. Him can't. Him done manage it already. We good. Yeah, so I can lift it up. I go to the gym, you know. It might, it might work. Of course. 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 Of it's heavy, right? You have your mind. Not a secondary wash off after I'm touched the sun. I mean, the Congo is really an attraction. Everybody is just weirded out by it. If this is a jump, eh? If jumping, if 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 him jumping, I boat alive. You know, you have to jump over boat. Them look like them burn up the fish when we outside. I I, I look for Congo being dug up, but I mean, just a little char, fire kind of high. The Vivi. Um, yeah, man, that that soap, man. What a knife for those guys. Scrapey. Scrapey. Like a saltfish. Mm -hmm. So, a bunny bun up. Work with this one. Work with this one. One can work, you know. Another plate. This is the end result now. This is the long jaw that just came off. Nice. Well, I charred it. There's a char on it, and then on the other side, you see the leaf has get away. The leaf has always is a plate, you know. We do it down here on the seaside. So, as I said, the, the long jaw just came off of the grill, and this is what it is it was roasted no seasoning no salt no pepper nothing on it just fire smoke and fresh fish that was caught this morning so let's see the taste of drop. Mm. white meat just what i thought very less just what i thought very similar to like a wahoo or to like even a barracuda not as sweet as barra, but still very nice, very clean meat, very dry as well, roasted dry, as well, to me bono, but roasted dry, you can see that it's just white meat, almost like a kingfish barracuda, that same species where the meat comes out white, nothing nothing like a, like a grouper where it's more juicy or, or other, other species of fish where that meat has a lot more juice and it's more flaky. More white meat. Mm. Bony, very bony. Mm. But still good. I'd be lying right now if I told you it was my favorite fish that I've ever had so far. I mean, the meat is good. It, it, it's very flaky. I'm not getting a sweetness from it, but it's also burnt. So. It, I get in a lot of the char flavor, which is why you heard him say that we should scrape off the char off of it before we eat it. Just like when you roast saltfish and you scrape off that char, is what he was saying. And the meat would be white under, but I wanted some of the flavor of the char, but the flavor of the char, it, it, it bitter. It bitter bad. Mm. Alright, now that piece of white meat that I just got, that now has a lot of flavor. Flaky like a kingfish or a wahoo i think it's not as dry as a wahoo to me or even some sort of bonita which is a type of tuna black black back tuna or bonita is what they call it but it does have a very very good taste and it's not too far off from other fish that we've tried so different species same flavor same taste so you can see this is part of the belly which is why you have these small tiny bones right here but you can see that the meat itself is still very, very flaky, very white. Fish that was just caught this morning. Yeah, the, the char on that make it so bitter, but once you get over or get under that char and basically find that white meat that is under there, that clean meat, 
that the fish is known for then it's a total different ball game it tastes just fresh i mean it, it you can tell that it's caught today i can tell the difference between fresh fish and freezer fish or imported fish we don't really like the imported fish we live on an island so we're gonna dig up down and up. So as I said, the sand acts as sandpaper to take that green skin off. So as it come out, you can see some of the green has already come off of it. So it's really not that them scrape the green off. It's actually that the green is taken off by the burial process of yeah. the sand. So it really does act like some sort of sandpaper to take that color off. So what causes the color? Is a same band. Just same band? Yeah. And that's why you have to take it out? Yeah. And this, this is a poison sensor. This will be... Yeah, that part there. Yeah. This is poison, you know. What, see it? I forgot to check what kind of... Put, yeah, see there? Yeah. See it? So they come out. Yeah, man. Yeah. Look on here, so now. So here, so stay. Look, the sun get off it. Yeah. Yeah. I like how... I just like a piece of sandpaper here. Yeah, I use it for just take yeah. it off. Yeah. So after that, wash it down, clean him up, yeah. and he's ready for the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Not like paradise. Just a second. Clean him up. Yeah, man, it's very nice. I had it fried, never had it roast. How you going to cook it? Fry, man. Fry, man. My best way to cook it. Roast or fry? Fry, man. Fry, my best way. Congress. So, them usually them fry it up. But we might roast these since we have it fried already. Straight on the fire, this one. It's a queen crab. Yeah, man, a queen Some crab people call it stone crab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they want a nice, you know. Yeah, man. Sweet. Look at them claw, them man. Nice size claw. Yeah, nice claw. So, but Jackie, you catch them out in your trap. Yeah. And them are what destroy the trap. Yeah, this 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 one. So that's why you really catch them. Usually they break the the claw off and throw them back in a Florida. The stone crab, but. Cause them claw we grow back to. So this are the bone, them fine, fine bone in yeah, there. And yeah. basically that's the only bone that's in there. No, the main bone. The main bone, the yeah. main, main bone. Yeah, and then them little fine, yeah. fine bone, yeah. which are basically rib cage or something. Yeah, yeah. Congress. Yes, I'm ready to forget peace for us, I know. Yeah, yeah. Cut straight through that center one, one tough to it. Not feel it tough. So I know like you borrow away after hammer hit the knife, you manage it. Yeah. That would big piece that's in a man, a little piece for us. Alright. Come on, so I feel this. Love this for me. I will eat that for me yeah. Sit down and roast up proper. Good meat, eh? Very good meat. Real white. Real white and clean. I mean, you look on the face and most people wouldn't eat it, but it's consumed different countries, we? Like a Niami, no, consumed. <laughs> you can see the meat starting to come together. It's not as dry. It's starting to build up. The flakiness is not there, but it looks very clean, like very white meat. Just like clean meat. I mean, you wouldn't expect that to be a conger eel. If they gave it to me right now and didn't tell me what it was, I probably wouldn't know that it was a eel or a conger eel and a stone crab.
<laughs> it's an oil in it. Yeah, you can see it as that to secret as natural fish oil. People would have paid all your money for that. Where's the Jackie? Naturally highly like that. Let's see it brown up now. Well the oil go brown it up now. You ask it to go stay yeah. white. The oil go brown it up. No. It's a Right, can't go put so, on pepper and so, onion. Now, open one and pepper and onion. It's ready and on the fire. Ready for the fire. Right now, so onion and fish seasoning yeah. and pepper. Yeah. And just mix it up, make it please yeah. get a little touch of seasoning, a little touch of pepper, a little yeah. touch of onion. Make yeah. more of the flavor of the onion and the pepper smoking. Yeah, yeah. So that one in the season? No, that one in the season. Put them from the jacket straight from the water to the fire. So that one already, you know? That one already? You know? That one already? That one? So how, how you eat the sea crab? Yeah man, are you that? Yeah! <laughs> nice, queen crab you're getting a wow. big crab that's enough. No curry. Call it queen crab or coral crab? Coral crab. That's my name. <laughs> so this is the concrete you fresh off of the fire. This is just a little piece that I get. So some char on it, we're going to take that off. And for watch for little bones is what they say as well. Well, we know that already. We had fried already. First time we're going to try roast. We're in for that roast congregate here. Blows and skirt. No. We kind of cheat. We take up the one with the seasoning. But I mean, I don't know if I can tell you, but this meat is absolutely amazing. It's a total different flavor than when it was fried. It almost have like a chicken type of flavor. It, Remind me of jerk chicken to tell you the truth. I'm, I don't want to say that, but it has that type of mm, very sweet, mm, very not chewy, very soft, very tender, almost a delicate meat. Shit, I don't know if I should I eat the skin if they say it poisonous. I might have to do our voiceover to tell you exactly what type of poison is on that skin, if any at all, or what it causes. But the meat is very flaky, very white, has a great consistency. I mean, don't know if you can see exactly what is in there, but it's very white, very almost melts in your mouth, almost creamy right after. Not a lot of toughness, very soft, smooth beautiful mm. that's very good wow i mean people pay a hell of a lot of money for eel when they're eating sushi and stuff like that no di different here the difference here is that we cook it we put it on the grill we basically roast it add a little bit of seasoning on this one the one that we originally put on did not have any on it that one is slow cooking it's still going to have the same consistency same consistency this one has a little more color because of the seasoning and the peppers the onions that's on it but i can tell you really good really sweet what a treat mm. wow